What's up, movie TV Shmodan fans? It's me again. I'm back. Hopefully trying to catch up on some of the Shmodan reactions. Uh, sorry, the Shmodan matches that I've missed out on uh, with doing reactions and such. This one, relatively shorter one, it's less than, four, than 50 minutes, I should say. And it's between Jen Kemp and Felix Morit uh, of the stars. Jen Kemp obviously belongs to Swag. We just recently saw her in her team's match with the, with the debuting of the, uh, the new team. Now, obviously, Felix Morit is a guy that uh, was drafted all the way back in January and has still have yet to make his uh, first appearance on um, the movie Trish Moran. Now, obviously, as you can see, I'm supporting the WAG team because I kind of supported the stars in, like, their last three matches that they've had, and uh, one of those matches was against Swag, particularly about Jen Kemp and the aforementioned team's debut. So I figured I'd go with the other way around, because, uh, first of all, Jin Kemp is an awesome human being, and uh, Felix Marine is a complete unknown at this point, so uh, I really don't know who to root for. So I'm going with the known property. Anyways, as you can see, I have two markers here, because this is the singles uh, division, and red is the color of singles. I'm still waiting on this thing to die out and crap out on itself, but it's still hanging in there, but I still have this one as a spare. So, uh, yeah. I will be uh, answering questions as well, but as we all know at this point, don't expect any correct, any too many correct answers out of me, unless there's like an IG category thrown in there for good measure in round two. So here we go! <laughs> everyone and welcome back to the movie Damn. Christian Modown. I am Mark Baby Carazellus, joined by read that Ken Knapsack. Hi Ken, how are you? Are you excited for this match that features a rookie debut? Oh my gosh, Mike, I'm thrilled to be back working did he call with you. It's Mike? been a long time since we did that Class A Durham game. Oh man, we got at it after that night with a bunch of free eggs. Let me tell you something, Mark. I love the Schmodown. I love the new generation. I love the old generation. Ready to have a lot of fun today with, with you and, the, and, and all the fans watching. Well, we have uh, two people who, I guess, started the Schmodown as fans watching it, playing along from home, like a lot of folks are going to be doing during this match. But now they see themselves under the white hot spotlight it's of the movie Trivia Schmodown. Both looking to get their first win in the singles right division. Now. You have Look Jen Kemp, you have the Mean Queen, and Jen Kemp is looking to get over that hump, Ken, and it is not a big mountain for her. It's just a tiny hill. She has lost two heartbreaking matches by a mere point. One was teams, one was singles, and she's looking to get that first W in the movie trivia Schmodown. But in order to do it, this she is going to have to right. topple the might of because Felix sure Morin, who is coming season. into the movie trivia Schmodown, hot off success in the fan leagues, and is ready to prove himself in the big leagues. Yeah, with Jen, you know, you and I both know as comics, you just want to get that first joke and that first laugh. I've been waiting since 2009, but Jen, I have faith, is going to uh, soon break through, whether it's today or another time. She knows her stuff. She's been around this uh, a lot. But on the other side, Felix making his debut. How exciting is that? The nerves. You're sitting beneath the stadium. You're in the clubhouse. You hear the feet stamping above you in the rafters. What is going through his head? I absolutely want to know. He goes by the nickname Money, and so we're going to see how Money, Money! And Jen Kemp, his opponent, got here right now. I like horror movies, but I know I'm definitely not as good as her, but uh, she just played amazing today. I feel like I've done well. I've done okay, like solid. I'm not embarrassed about my performance today, but I seem to bring out the best in the people I play against. So I feel like I did okay, but I know I'm, I can do better. More work. Get it in there. I gotta give shout out to Jen Kemp though. Like I know she came in late in the free for all, but did you see my girl? Jen came in here and she handled her business. The fact that she's sitting here riding in the last three and whatnot. The one thing that came out of free for all outside of Paul winning, outside of Ben getting the MVP, when is Jen gonna play? Jen's someone that I know is really good. I have known this for years and she just mm -hmm. hasn't gotten the chance to really show it. And to me, this is what Jen Kemp is about. When Winston asked me if I want money, I said, yeah, I'm a big fan of money. I like it. I use it. I have a little. I keep it in a jar on top of my refrigerator. I'd like to put more in that jar. And then he told me it's a person. Armando, it's 
better be important. Armando. Why we start every call like this? I told you before, I can't confirm if Oliver Stone's Wall Street is based off my life. But I won't deny it either. Well, sure this doesn't. person is a wild card, and we like to live on the edge. So, Felix Moritz, come on over to the stars. Now, you have your first singles match, Felix Moritz. Wait, what? What do you mean I have a Schmodown match coming up? No, Armando, I told you to buy the Schmodown. Buy it, not enter me into it. Felix seems like a real successful, worldly individual dressed in the finest suits, drinking the finest champagne, and just making it rain stacks of cash. I had seen his like promos and everything as a rookie, and I was like, this is a fun character. I'm excited just to see him play, yeah. period. So I was like, oh, it's fun. And at the same time, it's, once again, I'm going up against the stars. I spent the past year on the couch, glued to Netflix, and modeling the finest yoga pants Target has to offer. So clearly, we're both people of culture. I once took a week off of work to log every movie I've ever seen since birth. Like, I, I am dedicated to making sure I, I know everything that I've seen and then a reference point to going back to it. What is a meme queen? Your favorite movies are fantasy? It doesn't even make sense. Everyone knows the best movies are about money. Felix apparently has this secret shmoney ball formula that'll somehow give him the edge coming into the match today, but little does he know. I have been working on my own analytic system, so brace yourself, Roxy. Here come some real sexy numbers. This is how I win. We gotta start studying. Flying Stevie, Quentin, Marty. Get him on a plane, get him here now. Money never sleeps, we have a match to win. Get moving, Armando. You're fired. Stevie quit so and Marty. It's time I got for you to cash references. out because Felix, mo money, mo problems, no money, just answers. Well, he seems like he fits well with the stars. Well, Ken, that's something else we should probably point out here. This is going to be Boston on Boston crime either way because Roxy Stryer and Winston Marshall, the managers here today. What do you make of the stars and team swag? Now, at currently, they're below where they want to be with the Mendoza line and in that faction standings. They currently occupy the last two places, but we've seen teams go on runs before. Could it start for one of them today? Yeah, you know, anyone from Boston always believes you just need a Dave Roberts stolen base and you're back in it. And uh, that one still hurts me. 04 uh, brings back a lot of nightmares. But yeah, th you know, these two managers know their way around the game. They know they know how to get you to the, the top. And often that starts from the lower ends. It's downswings, upswings. And, and both these managers, I have complete faith that they're going to calm their players, give them the right advice, and not worry about the big picture, only what's right in front of you. Dave Roberts going from a championship player to a championship manager. You and I, we went from players who didn't win championships, and now we're behind the desk where we belong. Make sure you get your free egg at Sammy's. Isn't that right, Ken? Are you ready to get going here, sir? Uh, I am absolutely ready to get going. Then we turn it over to the golden throat of Mr. Another Christian former Harper. champion to announce well, Ladies and ladies gentlemen, gentlemen, it's, it's time, time for, for the, the movie, movie trivia, trivia showdown. Intro. First. Representing, Representing the stars, stars and his manager, Roxy, Roxy Stryer, Stryer, making his, his debut, debut in the movie, the movie Trivia Schmoda. This Felix is, is Felix, Felix Money, Money. Morris. I have arrived. Hello, Schmoda. And that there. Monaco, I'm a little <laughs> late. Me and my boy Armando have been studying nonstop. I'm about to witness money. I was going to say, this does look like some sort of currency, both in presentation and hopefully in knowledge as well. Felix, i, I got to start just asking you, you're in the Schmodown, you've dreamed of this moment for a long time. What does it feel like now that you are on the precipice of your very first match? feels great. Uh, I think more importantly, it feels like another source of income. Uh, I've heard those belts are made of solid gold. Just uh, looking to add to my collection. Here's what I love about Felix. He looks like a hitman that's going to come after you after you've kicked his parrot. And he looks cool and calm under pressure here. Felix, 
take me through the emotions of of making this big leap to the trivia showdown from the, the the fan leagues, the other leagues. I don't even like to call them fan leagues anymore. The competition's so fierce. What are you feeling right now, man? That you're on this stage. Yeah, I feel good. I feel calm. Like I said, I've been out in Monaco. Me and my boy Armando been uh, running drills every single day. People said I was crazy to pay him $100,000 per question he asked me. I think uh, today's results are going to show otherwise, but, you know, it, it, it's it's another animal when you come into the Shmona. I got a lot of respect for, for Jen. Um, I, That's my I, favorite I am here theme song out of, out of all the factions. It's not going to be a, a small little mountain that she has to climb to get that first win in the in the singles league, but time will tell and money will tell. Uh, Felix, how much money is that? Uh, we have 10,000 here, but we also have uh, 10,000 here. Oh, um, I think 10,000 here. Just give me oh. one more second. Uh, 10,000 here. I got to get maybe my other hand involved in 10,000 here. Um, that is an impressive just, just came stat. ready in case, you know, uh, anybody wanted some water. That's just, all just, real know, money, right? Whatever they need. Uh, Ken, we should mm. become really good friends with Felix. But for now, <laughs> we drop him out and we meet his opponent. Coming to the arena yeah. of competition. She is unranked in the Schmodown with a record of one, one win. loss, no wins. She is representing Team Swag wow. and her manager, Winston Marshall. This is the, the mean, mean Queen, queen. Jen Jen Kemp. Kemp. Hello, hello. There is Jen Kemp with the most comfy looking chair in all of the Schmodown. Jen, you're not in the comfy chair. You are in the hot seat. You're about to get back into competition, and you're looking for that first win. As we said, it has been so, so close before. What is that magic sauce that's going to get you over the hump today for your first win? I mean, at this point, my main strategy is to just be luckier, so hopefully that can work out for me today. But, uh, I, yeah, I've only had including today, three matches, and two of them have been against the Stars, so... Roxy, why are you so obsessed with me? But I guess I'm giving you points, so maybe I can get some of that faction magic later. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm excited to be back and hopefully get a win today, but anybody can get a win. Now at this point, I think I'm just trying to get as many points as possible without getting the win, because I think that's a record that I'm doing pretty good at. Jen, let me ask you this question. Uh, Hungry Hungry Hippo, is it up there on the shelf behind you? Because that's the only game I'm good at. Anyways, here's the thing about Boston people. Roxy is obsessed with you because if you come out to L.A. and you're from Boston and you find another person from Boston, you, you sit for three hours in the corner bar talking about how great Boston is. All you Boston people around, do you have, is there some sort of, do you feel like uh, th this, that, that's a connection that's going to distract you? Uh, th that, that city, that town, that place, uh, can you put that aside in this match? I mean, it's going to be wicked hot, but uh, yeah, Roxy, she honestly, she looks so much like one of my cousins that it's hard to really hate against her, so mm. I get nothing but love for Roxy, and yeah, money Roxy. seems like a good guy that might help me with some stock tips later on, which I'm always open to. I was going to ask you about that, Jen. What what do you know? What game tape footage can you study with Felix? I know he's been around a lot of other leagues, but what do you look at when you're getting ready for someone making their debut? I honestly was not aware that there's game tape for him. I, I looked around and I didn't really find much. I found some shmoney ball statistics, which he seems like a little mini baby Bateman kind of in that sense. So not exactly my forte. I more like to watch the movies than is study the statistics about thing? people answering I questions about the movies. But the it'll be interesting. It's definitely ball? two different Never schools of, of thought coming in today. Fair enough. All right. Well, uh, let's get uh, on with this here schmodown match. I got nothing there, Mark. That's that city hurts me. <laughs> We're going to go back to Boston, and you're going to have a great time drinking that dirty water, Ken. All right, so there is Felix, and there is Jen. They are face-to-face, -face, and they will now hear the rules of round number one. Eight questions from eight different corners of movie, trivia, schmodown, knowledge will emerge. Each question's worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question, and there is no stealing, at least not in round number one. Wink, wink. We'll ask the question. You have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer. Once we ask you by name or nickname, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. I'll remind each competitor of your three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, use a JTE rule. Hey, he likes Boston stuff too. That is your repeat. And once again, you have three of them. You also each have one challenge you may utilize at any point 
throughout the three round match. We'll bring in managers, we'll deliver it to our heart's content, and it will ultimately be your manager that confirms and ratifies if said challenge is taking place. It's a whole lot of rules coming at you for your very first time. Felix, are you feeling good and ready to go? Funny talks, let's do it. And Jen Kemp, you ready to get going here? I feel underdressed next to him, but yeah, ready to go. <laughs> we, we all took a shot when we saw how nice Felix looked. All right, Ken, do you have any last words? Uh, no, Mark, other than this final question uh, to you. Um, do you remember Do you remember all those good times in D.C. with those clutch eggs? Yeah, oh, good we're, stuff. We're going to do it here. Let's do this, my friends. They're ready. We're ready. Let's get Let's ready, get ready to, to, to Moda. All right, question number one coming from that beautiful golden throat of Ken Knapsack. Ken, what is their first category? Question number one comes in the category of animated, animated. Which 2010s Disney film features the songs, When Will My Life Begin and I've Got a Dream? Questions I ask myself every morning while crying in the shower. <laughs> I was going to say, do you make it to the shower to get those tears out? <laughs> if I'm lucky. Five, when four, will my life three, begin? two, one. Pens down, let's go to Jen Kemp first. Uh, it's one of my favorites, Tangled. Tangled. It is an underrated Disney flick, and that Tangled. is correct. How about Felix? Didn't have it, had Moana. Money, Moana. looking for his first points in the Schmodown. It is one nothing in favor of the meme queen. So we go to the world of the 1990s. These are films released sometime in the 1990s, or perhaps someone who starred in them. Your question. Which actress stars in the 90s films, Picture Perfect, The Object of My Affection, and office space. <laughs> what is it? I got the tangled question right. Here, Mark. I can sit this one out. <laughs> Not gonna work here anymore. One of the better movies I've ever seen in my life. Five, four, three, two, one. Shout out to my college roommate Chad for introducing me to office space. We go to money for his first points. Jennifer Aniston. Money! He is officially on the board in a showdown match, tying Jen Kemp unless down? she also had was... Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. She oh, no. did. I think it is two to one, Jennifer Ken, and now they go to their third board, question. But... Third question comes to the category category of new releases. Category new releases. Director Simon McCoy directed what 2021 Wait. action film that stars uh, Louis Tan and is based on a popular video game franchise? Uh, Louis Tan, friend of the show. Yeah. Did they make Cubert uh, the movie yet? You know, Look at the movie. I was more of a uh, Kirby guy. Kirby, that's, that's true. That might be the way to go. Four, three, perhaps Earthworm Jim. Two, one. That is Earthworm a repeat Jim together, a... just in time. All right. It's a weird game. Category but it's new a releases. Fun one. Director Simon McCoy directed McQuaid. what 2021 action film that stars Louis Tan and is based on a popular video game franchise? What was your system growing up, Ken? Uh, my, my system was the Commodore 64. There you go. Not a popular Eight. kid in school. Five, four, three, two, one. We were the last family on the block to get a Nintendo, so I feel some of your pain. Let's go to Jen Kemp. Did you have it? Fatality, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! That is correct. Felix did the JTE rule payoff. Also had Mortal Kombat. There you go. It did, and so he continues to trail by one in his first Schmodown match against Jim Kemp, the meme queen. We go Jim to your next Kemp. category. And that is in the world of action slash adventure movies, and it is. Camp, the first three entries in the Dirty Harry franchise, which starred Clint Eastwood, were released in which decade? You know, I went to my video gay, uh, my video uh, uh, store in, in the 80s, and I checked out something called Dirty Larry because I went in the wrong uh, closet. That did not go over well with my parents. Amazing the difference one letter makes. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we go to Felix. The 1960s? 1960s 70s. is incorrect. Jen Kemp for a possible two-point lead. He has been around a long time, but I think it's the 70s. It is, in fact, the 1970s, and Jen Kemp still perfect well, through round I'm number one. I'm outscoring this guy, so I don't know how perfect good he indeed, really is, Perfect indeed, and we are now right? at number five, it's and the so category is me in the ass dramas. In a minute. dramas. Jason Reitman directed this acclaimed 2009 film about a corporate downsizing expert who travels the country firing people and then soon faces a personal crisis. It's usually me between round two and three, Mark. 
Yeah, that's when we start to see the Ken meltdown. He's holding it together thus far. Uh, well, I said it's going to bite me in the ass. We missed you, Ken. Come back. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Felix. And we go to Jen Ken. Anna Kendrick's best roll up in the air. Up in the air is correct. Did Felix have it? I had up in the air, but I drew some balloons. Uh, up in the air with balloons because, is totally uh, legal. That is correct is. for a big I'm point. I'm sorry, five. he didn't travel by balloons. He traveled by plane, so I might want to challenge that. <laughs> that is a very fair point. Uh, I don't know how that challenge would be ruled. So we just move on to the world of comedies. <laughs> <laughs> See, th these two, these two like us, Ken. For a point, your question. Chris Farley plays a slovenly gym teacher in this 1996 comedy, also starring David Spade and Gary Busey. Uh, how often do you and uh, Spadely hang out, Alice? Is it weekly, like I dream of, or? <laughs> we see each other from time to time. Okay. Okay. Always exchange pleasantries. Mm -hmm. Five, four, repeat. three. That is Jen Kemp's first repeat. Each competitor with two JTE rules remaining. And it is. In the world of comedies, Chris Farley uh -huh. plays a slovenly gym teacher in this 1996 comedy, also starring David Spade and Gary Busey. And a lot of times those hangouts do involve a Chris Farley story. Mm, as they should. They should. One of the funniest to ever do it. Mm -hmm. All right, Jen Kemp using her first JT rule. Five, four, three, two, one. Felix, what do you got? I uh, didn't have it. I wrote Beverly Hills Ninja. Beverly Hills Ninja is a great guess, but incorrect. Did Camp have it? I feel like it's more of a community center than gym teacher, but Black Sheep? It is Black Sheep, and that is correct. And so here's where we stand currently. Check Six to three. Jen Camp still a perfect round number one with two questions remaining. Two questions remaining, which means we're up to number seven. The category is horror slash thriller, horror slash thriller. In what 1954 Universal monster film does an expedition searching for fossils along the Amazon River discover a prehistoric gill man? Oh, I think that's how you and Grace met. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Getting emotional about the memories of being dug out of that mud. Five, four. Three. It's good for the skin. Two, oh. one. Pens down, and let's go to Jen Kemp. Creature from the Black Lagoon. The creature from the Black Lagoon. That's a long title. Right. Correct. She's within a point of That's perfect. That's a long Felix, title. Right. I did not. He did not. I and knew so the answer. All of a sudden, Kemp has I, opened I had up the a commanding four-point lead. Felix would love to have one more shot, and he title. gets it in round number one. I knew creature from the Black Lagoon. Final question is in the category of fantasy. Science fiction. I'm giving myself a point. I'm and I'm outscoring Maureen again. Which actress stars as the character Lieutenant Artemis in the 2020 film Monster Hunter? I have no idea if what I just read was about an actual film or something that PJ Campbell's uh, yanking our leg. I, I heard they stopped making movies in 2019. I didn't know there was new ones Five, that came out. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Felix. Did money have it? Mila Jovovich. Mila Jovovich is correct. How about Jen Kemp? Yeah, it's nothing like the game, but it's Mila Jovovich. <laughs> that is correct. And so correct. Felix gets four points in round number one. Not a bad round, but Jen Kemp has a perfect round one. Ken Napsok, she has now earned the right for a bonus question. Jen, Ken's going to ask you the question. He's not going to tell you what the category is in, but it is worth a point. You don't have to write this one down. It is only to you simply answer when you feel prepared. All right, Jen, well-earned bonus question. Here you go. What famous comedy troupe starred in the classic films Horse Feathers, Duck Soup, and A Night at the Opera? I literally have a picture of them over there. It's the Marx Groucho Brothers. Groucho Marx? <laughs> that is correct. Oh, the, the Marx Brothers, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the Marx Brothers. The Marx Brothers. I knew that. Coming through in the clutch I all these the many decades Brothers. later. Nine to four is the score actor. as we head into so round I, number I two. This is the quick. wheel round. Each competitor gets a spin the at the wheel. We don't have the kind of money I'm Felix does, so we don't have point. to send you just a for the real fact wheel. That we just have a virtual wheel. You spin it with your mind, Marx and once Brothers you do, movie. you're going to land on a category. Four questions will emerge from that particular round. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question recedes to one. 
So it is a five point lead for the meme queen. Jen, would you like to spin first or defer to your opponent? Uh, I believe I will sit on my assets and let the money go first. All right, then we say goodbye to Jen for now and bring in the Smart manager play. of money, Roxy's Drive. Let her sit on her money assets jerk. because uh, money this is our time, Felix. Listen, shaking off whatever it was that just is, this is your first time in here. You're doing an awesome job. She had a perfect round one, and I've seen her have a perfect round one and lose. So that's exactly what we're going to see happen here today. As we talked about going into this, round one don't mean it doesn't mean what people think it means. Right. Going into round two, a little more important. Going into round three, a little more important. As long as we can keep it to around where it is or better, then we're going to be solid going into this next round three. So let's spin the wheel. Let's see what happens. Let's aim for gold here because uh, we're going to make some money right now, Felix. I'm it. trying to do the money thing on my end. It's better with <laughs> you. But yeah, you're better with the money. You do the money, um, I'll do the talking. All right, let's spin the wheel. And Ken, I really like that new studio that Roxy built herself. Yeah, she looks like she's about to yell at Anne Hathaway and make her go get her a coffee. <laughs> you think she'd do it? I could use one. You can be pretty intimidating when you want to be. Yeah, to he has spun the wizarding, the wizarding world. world. So you now have I'm 60 seconds to deliver it with your manager video. if you want to keep wizarding world or spin the wheel again using your mulligan. Talk yeah, I mean, listen, I think uh, it's no secret that, that oh, Jen has uh, dabbled in IG. And I think we know that only muggles use money, not wizards. So my, my bet is to spin again here. I agree, but remember, no matter what we end up I on, love because that. I love that kind of be a, a joke yeah. player that if we come back here, As it's going to be okay. Because uh, yeah. you got just, this in your blood, too. Why can't so you just write again. young adult? But we'll be okay no matter. Why do you have to write down? Interesting point, yeah. man. Wizards really don't need to use currency. They can just kind of conjure a sandwich. Well, actually, wizards do use oh, currency man. in the wizarding power, world. Man. I, so I didn't, I didn't mean to rub it in your face that you're not a wizard. Okay, 90. 1990s movies. Yes, it says 90s, but Felix, trust me, those are from the 1990s. <laughs> that is going to be your category. And All now, right. Felix, we were here. around then. You've got this. We were here. All right, Jen Kemp has returned. Competitors, make sure we can see your hands. If you want to be holding a stack of $10,000, you're more than welcome to. Jen, you can do that as well. Ken will be asking the questions to Felix in this round. Once again, Ken, he has spun the world that I believe you're alive for most of this decade, and that is 90s. 1990s, 1990s. All right, here we go. First one coming your way. Great decade. This is the last decade in which I had hair. All right, question one. Bill Pullman plays U.S. President Thomas Whitmore in what 1990s blockbuster? Independence Day. Independence Day. That's correct for two points. Independence Day. Two points, and he has cut the lead of Jen to three. All right. Next question. Who received a Best Actor Oscar nomination for the films Re The Remains of the Day and Nixon? I go multiple choice. A, Anthony Hopkins. B, Daniel Day-Lewis. C, Rafe Fiennes. D, Ben Kingsley. Fines, maybe? I get the best options best one more time? Lead or best yep. supporting? A, Anthony Hopkins. B, Daniel Day Lewis. C, Rafe Fines. D, Ben Kingsley. I go with Anthony Hopkins. That's correct for a point. Correct for a point. You got there. So he's feeling his way through this round nicely so far, Ken. He has two remaining in the world of the 1990s. Two remaining. Next question coming in here. Who stars as a big city doctor in a small town? 1991's Doc Hollywood. Five. Multiple choice. A, Robert Downey Jr., B, Michael J. Fox, C, Rob Lowe, D, Andrew McCarthy. Rob Lowe, I guess. I always bet on C, I, I suppose. Five, four, 
Three. Go Rob Two. Lowe. Incorrect. Incorrect. So for a steal opportunity, we now go to the meme queen, Jen. Ken is going to repeat the question and the multiple choice options. Jen, who stars as a big city doctor in a small town in 1991's Doc Holliday? A, Robert Downey Jr. Hollywood, Ken. It was Doc Holly Hollywood. It's okay. Keep going. <laughs> Doc Holliday. A, yeah. A, Robert Downey Jr. B, Michael J. Fox. C, Rob Lowe. D, Andrew McCarthy. It's Michael J. Fox. It is one point. Really? What did I? What did I even say, Mark? I I, I just. I wanted to let him finish. That, yeah, I'm just happy that Val Kilmer wasn't one of the options because that would have been very. <laughs> <laughs> so. Holiday, he's great. Yeah, he's great in that. Okay. He is great. The bottom yeah, line dark. is this: Jen gets a big one point multiple choice steal, but we do go back to Money, who can cut the lead to one with his final question of round two in the category of the '90s. What's he facing, Ken? All right, here you go, Heath Ledger. Julia Stiles and Joseph Gordon Levitt star in what 1990s teen film? Is it 10 Things I Hate About You? I know, you were, I know Heath Ledger was in that movie. I'm pretty sure it was in the 90s. But. Five, I don't think Joseph four, Gordon Levitt was there. Three, two, multiple choice. A. 10 Things I Hate About You. It's B. The Buffy the Vampire Slayer. C, Clueless. D, She's All That. I'm pretty sure Heath Ledger was in Clueless or Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm sticking with so my original answer, 10 things I hate about you. Incorrect. <laughs> Big steal opportunity here for Jen once again. Ken's going to repeat the question and the options. All right, Jen, no Tombstone references here. Heath Ledger, Julia Stiles, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt star in what 1990s teen film? A, 10 things I hate about you. B, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. C, Clueless. D, She's All That. There's a fantastic song number in this, but it's 10 Things I Hate About You. Right. One point steal there, Mr. Ellis. And it's a big steal because now it gets Jen's advantage back to four points. It is 11 to seven. And she has yet to spin Felix. the wheel. Just so money proving he has knowledge of the 1990s, Granted, but I does give away a couple steal opportunities did, capitalized on by Kemp, so we say goodbye guy, to money for now. We bring in Kemp's manager, Winston Marsh. Hey, no, y'all shut up. Y'all shut up. No, um, black people front is crazy, man. It's crazy. Oh, hey, what's going on, Jen? How you doing, girl? Is real? Like, I've been sitting here watching it. I've, I've been black people brunch. You know, we like to do things in the morning. It is what it is. I'm so proud of you out here killing it. You perfect so far on the steals on the first round. Do you even need me here? You good? I mean, I'm always happy to see you, Winston, so I'm good here. Well, I'm gonna drink a mimosa while you out here just keep going killing it. Go ahead and spin that dar 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 wheel. Sorry, I've had a few. It's bottomless today. All right, the spin is in. Uh, Ken, it should be noted we're taping this match at 6:30 p.m. Yeah, Winston's. Winston's. Why are you snitching on me? Look, just let me live. It's never-ending mimosas. It goes all day. It's, it's bottomless. I've been going all day. Wizarding World. Man, it, oh my days. <laughs> Weekend to Wizarding World. So, Jen, would you like to keep Wizarding World, or would you like to do what Money did and spin away from Harry look, Potter? Look, Jen, come on now. Like, 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 go ahead. I would say, go ahead and keep this. I'm just gonna keep on drinking it. I mean, unless you want something else. You see something else you want? I mean, I'd like that mimosa, but uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty right. magical today, I'm so a, yeah. I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna oh. ask Keith over here if he'll let me borrow the private jet. I'll fly you out of a mimosa, girl. Come on now. Go oh, ahead and do that wizard thing. Hey, Keith, can we take the jet? Are we done with this? A lot of money no? being spent today. Okay. Ken. Sorry, Jen. Go have fun. <laughs> All right, and money has returned, and somebody else has a private jet in this match, apparently, too. So, money, keep your hands up for steal opportunities, and we go to Jen Kemp for her four questions in the wizarding world of that kid with the lightning bolt thing. Your question number one. Of four for two points, and this need multiple choice, Jen. What is the name of the giant tree that moves and thrashes the Weasley's flying car in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? The Whomping no, Willow. The Whomping Willow, and it's been on these grounds since before you before were born. you were born. Arguably okay, my okay. favorite Harry Potter movie, Chamber of Secrets, and that is correct. For two points, it is now a six-point advantage, Honestly, Ken. Because, so think, if Jen can run through this category, she could not only get her first W, she could be scoring a knockout. We're not there, there we we yet. Where we are is question two in the category of the Wizarding World. Peter Pettigrew can transform himself into what kind of animal? A rat. It's a rat because Jake is not subtle at all. 
I have it in my notes that we will not accept mouse, we will accept rat. And that is correct yeah, for two points. Yeah, because is all about subtlety. to seven. Isn't it's an she? eight point game. She can extend it to 10 with her penultimate question in the wizarding world. And it is. As revealed in the Deathly Hallows part one, which character stole the elder wand from wand maker Gregorovich as a teenager? Gellert Grindelwald. I believe it's Gellert Grindelwald. Sounds like that's a crime that Grindelwald committed that long ago. That is correct <laughs> for two points. It is Speaking seven of not being to seven. Ken, that's not only probably the advantage the Washington football team is going to have over the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> in both matches this coming fall. It is also a 10-point lead if Jen Kemp can hit this last question, whether it's the two-point version or with multiple choice, she will have knocked out Felix Money Marit and get her first win in the Schmodown. Mm -hmm. She's like Lawrence Taylor, and he's Joe Theismann's leg. Ken. Unbelievable. Your question, <laughs> Jen, for two points and the win. During the game of Wizards Chess in the challenges to get the Sorcerer's Stone, what chess piece does Ron have Harry take the position of? The Rook. You know, the one that only goes diagonally. Uh, let's go down to multiple choice, we say. All right, you have four options it for the point, and they are. Am I, am I, is it A, what? King, B, nope. Bishop, C, Knight, or D, Rook? No, the knight was wrong. Yeah, wrong was the knight. the knight, and I believe and, uh, that Hermione is the rook, so I'll say Harry is the bishop. And, and your winner! winner! By way of knockout, knock the mean queen, queen, Jen, 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 Jen. Hey, Jen. Jen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Yes, sir! Ah, girl, you coming to black people brunch. Let's go! <laughs> Good day to brunch for Winston Marshall, as it turns out that we're going to let them celebrate with their friends at brunch for a sec. Ken and I are going to wrap things up. Ken, that is why you love the Schmodown. A very fun, personable debut for Felix Money, but this was Jen Kemp's time, and you just felt it from the moment round one began. This was her destiny to get over that hump, get a win, and boy, did she do it ever. Yeah, we talked at the at the top of the show. You just need that first one, the first laugh, the first joke, that first hit, and the first victory for Jen. She knows this game. She knows what to do. She's very relaxed, very calm. Winston, by the way, now I understand why Winston never joins me at Denny's on uh, on Saturday and Sunday mornings. I get it now, Winston. I get it. Uh, Jen and Winston, good team, good win. What an effort. I have a plus one to that brunch if you'd like to accompany me next Saturday. So we are going to turn it over to the great Jen Sturge, who's going to have an interview with the winning faction Another team swag, Jen. Jen Kemp, Winston Marshall, and Winston's friends. Congratulations, Jen. You finally did it. How does it feel How to was that first get win over that home? Oh man, like it was, it was funny in the team's match for the final question to be cabaret because I really have been feeling like Sally Bowles of maybe this time like it really has been like a long road here and like felix came in and it's really hard to go up against the perfect round so yeah i feel bad about that but uh i don't feel that bad about it so <laughs> it doesn't hurt when you get your strength too in round two right that's just yeah. kind of it just kind of had to make you like really settle in first the perfect round one and now that you know like it was just your day I mean, yeah, like the wheel has not been my friend, so I may have been doing some curses and stuff on the side and sacrificed a few goats that are not Dan Merle. So maybe that may have <laughs> something to do with it, but uh, it's nice to not have the worst options come up for a change. Absolutely. Winston, you've got to be feeling pretty good, and I'm not talking about the mimosas. <laughs> oh, oh, it's all the mimosas, for real. No, uh, real talk, I, I'm so proud of Jen. I mean, everybody saw what she did at the free for all. She is a tour de force. And this is a well-deserved um, win. I mean, she didn't miss a single question. And I, I got a question, Jen. Did you know that was your guess a bishop and you were just being safe? Yeah. And that's the whole thing. So uh, obviously, I the could feel Paul is, yelling at me to be, be he's cool. Like, literally yeah, so, yeah. Well, I, exactly. No, but Jen. I mean, it, it, you saw I even said it in the private chat. I said, look, if you need to check down, check down because one point or two points, you get the dub if you get this question right. And so that was the strategic thing to do to further back up what you're thinking. So 
I know that some people are gonna do this. Oh, well, she could have had a hundred percent PPE. Shut up! All right, she didn't miss a single question. She had, she a GD boss. All right, how about that? Yeah, Let's clearly go. I'm a fan of board games, but uh, chess is not the one that I go to a lot, so I wanted to double check. <laughs> there you go. Well done. So now that we have this win under our belts, uh, and obviously it's got to be a nice boost to your confidence, who would you want to face next? Oh, honestly, I do not care. I uh, I just like to play. Like, and it took so long just to get a singles match uh, that, yeah, I will put whatever you put in front of me. I'm excited because, like I've said before, I always just go out and try to do the best that I can do. And luckily... I did that today. So yeah, Felix, like he came out and it's, it's hard to come in so late in the season as another rookie because the rookies have been killing it this season. Right. So yeah, like Especially I'll pop to him and I change. hope uh, he gets another match because money, like I, I would love to have money. Money. So yeah. I, w- I was going to say like, brother, you put our stacks on stacks. So like we over there down at uh, Blood Souls, you want to come swing on by and, and bring some of them stacks to pay for these ribs because they're kind of expensive, <laughs> bro. <laughs> no? Okay. I'm just going to leave it at okay. that. Anyways, congratulations on a well-fought victory today and on getting that first W. Uh, I'm sure there's many more where that came from. Drip, drip indeed, Ken. That's not just the barbecue sauce spilling onto the floor of the delicious Bloodsoe's restaurant. It is also Winston Marshall and Jen Kemp celebrating. And why not? It's a knockout. It's Kemp's first win in singles. And it's a big moment for Team Swag. As we mentioned, they're both of these squads looking to get a little higher up in the faction standings. Swag taking a big step towards that. Absolutely. There's still time left. You just need to stay within a Grand Slam link, like a Grand Slam breakfast, which apparently I'll be having alone again because Winston won't return my calls. Uh, you, you're going to have to work that out with him on your own. As far as Felix money goes, where do you go from here? It's a tough loss, but it at least you got some Felix valuable Felicis, reps in the movie Trivia sure. Schmodown. And I can say this. Roxy Stryer is one of the best motivators that we've ever seen in or out of the Schmodown. So you know that she's going to help him keep his head on straight if he even needs it. But I'm pretty sure, even though he lost today, Felix is not going to be lacking confidence going into his next match. Absolutely. As they say, Mark, you know it well. You lost today, kid, but you don't have to like it. That's from a good movie franchise, I hear. So now we are going to turn it over to the stars. Roxy Stryer, Felix Moret, with our own Jen Sturgeon. Oh, are you <laughs> wiping your tears with a, uh, is that a hundred, is that a hundred, second, hundred. oh wow. When you have that much money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's, a, it's a hard loss to take, but you know, you live and you learn. <laughs> I would ask how you're feeling, Roxy, don't, don't, but I think we've already addressed Don't that. give yourself paper cuts uh, So what did eyes. you learn from this match? You know Seriously. what I mean? I, I think that there's a lot you can take away from your first appearance here today. Obviously, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, but you have to take something away from it that's positive. Yeah. Um, you know, the I, I spun away from uh, Wizarding World. I talked about it. It's definitely a strength of hers. Um I'm a, a, a pretty big Harry Potter fan uh, as well. Uh, it, it's a category in retrospect, you know, I, I wish I kept. I would have I would have done much better than that than I would have done on my own. So I think it's more about playing offensive than is playing defensive sometimes. And, and that's kind of my big takeaway from today. But, you know, there, there's, there's a lot that I, I liked in today's match. I think, you know, first use of a JTE helped me pull that answer, making sure that I, I consistently use those when I feel like I have it right there that that that's something that I'm I'm proud of today absolutely Roxy was there anything that you were looking for today that just didn't come together I I think that anybody's first match can go any kind of way and has no bearing on how somebody does in this league in general uh behind the scenes Felix is like the most incredible faction mate I've ever seen uh, he helps out everybody with everything they need and I just wish we were able to support him better today because he really deserves this W with the amount of time that he puts in for the stars. It just happens this way sometimes. Hindsight is twenty twenty, And I think that this is a, a game where you have to learn on the field. And that's what we did today. It's not going to be the last time that we see him. And, it, you know, in, in the future, I think, like he said, with that specific category... You just don't know. You never know what the questions are going to be. Everyone these days is trying to avoid the decades. The decades categories seem to be particularly rough for a lot of people. All of them just because they are so broad. Mm-hmm. And when you get hit with one of them like it is and, a it's, long time, so and, it's, and it goes that way, it's really, really tough to come back from. So I also learned that apparently when you lose, Winston tries to make you buy him ribs. Doesn't feel 
quite right. So, Winston, you can buy your own ribs. Thanks. Oh. I will say, I I know Keith. I go to I go to the black brunches too, obviously. Oh. oh. Keith Keith doesn't have a jet, and you know I think one of the small wins that I have today is uh, Winston has his mimosa. I had a, I had a really nice bottle to my left that I was going to make as a celebratory mimosa. I'm going to bring out the the cheap bottle of Dom. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll make my own mimosas cheap. and I'll and I'll be fine. You know. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think you'll be doing just fine. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, tough loss today. But did you did you enjoy your first time out of the gate? All that aside, like, how did it feel to actually make your debut here? Yeah, it felt great. I mean, listen, you, you can go back and you can look at the there are belt holders who lost their first match. It's, it's I'm not well of. aware. Yep. Yeah, no. uh, you've so been I here think, before. I've been here a few yeah. times. Uh, I, I think just to get that off my back feels really nice. There, there's always a, a, a little bit of nerves. Um, I, I know the sensation when you're, you're riding high, you have a million on red in Monte Carlo. You, you feel the pressure. And it's the same thing here. But once you've done it, you know, you, you, you're walking in next time like a, like a vet. And I'm not saying that I have, you know, 20 matches under my belt, but it definitely feels different when you have one than when you have zero. If you're walking in with the, after losing a million dollars, you're not walking in like a vet. You're walking in like a homeless person because you just lost <laughs> all your money on red in Monte Carlo. Pocket oh, change no, 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 to him. No. Million dollars. That, that, that's pocket change. Must be nice. Can I, million can dollars. I cut of some of this? Million oh, dollars. God, I've only million been here for dollars. how many years now? I'm not uh, making you nearly that. You get the royalties at the end of the season. Mm. Mm, okay. Anyways, I, uh, best of luck to you in the future. I'm sure you've uh, made an impression on all of us Schmodown fans out there, and uh, I'm sure it's not the last we've seen of you. Thank Thanks, you, Jen. Jen. All right, Ken, as we close up shop here and we try to avoid DMing Felix for money for rent until after the broadcast concludes, you look at him, look, he's a good sport about it, and he knows he's going to be back in competition soon, and I think that he is looking forward to working more with Roxy Stryer is manager, but also with the team. It's always nice to see how the behind-the-scenes mechanisms work in each individual faction. And from all accounts, money, very important to the stars. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I try to use Kleenex as currency at Target. My credit was cut, and that didn't uh, go. And this guy's wiping his nose with Franklin's. It's, uh, it's impressive, quite <laughs> frankly. Uh, look, here's what I love about quite Roxy frankly. as a manager. The, the, the dizzying heights aren't going to distract her, and neither are the, the, the wallowing lows. She's going to... Make sure you stay right in the middle, right where you need to be. She knows the ups and downs. She's been there. She she knows how to get him through this. And, and so there, Felix, I think, has a really, I liked where his head was after that loss. And where Jen Kemp and Winston Marshall's head is in the clouds, and why not? It was a huge knockout win for her very first W in the movie Trivia Schmodown. So congrats to the meme queen and to Money for a sterling debut. It was a great match here today, Ken. And for more great matches, for more great behind-the-scenes content, head over to the movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon. Select which tier is right for you today. That $10 and above tier, you get all pay-per-view matches all year long you can also check out our facebook fan page and of course follow us on social media last but not least ken live shows coming up some cool in studio opportunities for fans to join just head to the schmodownlive.com and it was a pleasure calling the match with you sir a noted author performer entertainer star of stage and screen ken we miss you you know, it's I love coming in here. I'm the uh, non-union uh, person that they bring in here to put pressure on any Andrew guy uh, contract negotiations, and I <laughs> love just hanging out with you. I'll see you on a plane to Seattle shortly. That is all for us here today at the Movie Trivia Schmodown. For our great team at Skybound, our incredible writing staff, headed by PJ Campbell, the one, the only Jen Sturger, the stars, and Team Swag. That's Ken Knapsack. I am Mark Ellis. We'll see you next time on the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Ken, I'll meet you at the Coffee Bean for Egg Sandwiches in 15 minutes. Well, uh, tough loss for this Felix guy. I really feel sorry for him. I mean... You get all this hype around yourself and have this character already made and you have props. Obviously the nickname, all of that. And it's just... And, and obviously it's always hard to have your first ma debut match in any of the leagues, but... 
uh, yeah, to lose like that on a knockout, no less. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of rookies this season have experienced this, uh, but sometimes you just need to get knocked out to really focus you and let's it lets you know that where you really need to put all of your uh, efforts in and uh hopefully he's going to take this loss um and uh, only make him only use it to make himself stronger as a player as a competitor and uh hopefully there's a knockout on his record somewhere down the line in any case as i mentioned i answered 11 questions right which is still technically consi considered more correct questions than Felix did. Keep in mind, though, I, I did answer more questions that he, than he was asked. So it doesn't really matter. And, and also, Jane landed on, on uh, one of her strengths, which is also a great strength of mine. Because I've been studying for a Harry Potter match, and uh, after losing... Uh, I'm not losing, but after missing a Harry Potter question... Re very recently, in one of my own matches, I decided it's uh, this would be the this would be the last Harry Potter question I would ever get wrong, and so far I've stuck to it. I answered another Harry Potter question in that very same match. I last I answered like five or six Harry Potter questions in a free for all style event. Didn't miss a single one. Obviously answered all four of them right now. So uh, yeah, Wizarding World and Harry Potter and specifically, that's my jam. So obviously I'm going to get. A lot of points, just like Jen Camp just did, and she showed us exactly why she deserves to be in the Schmodown. She never, she never got knocked out in any of her, the matches she played. She played her hearts out in all of her matches so far, and she got a perfect game. And there really isn't much you can do that without that. So yeah, it was a um, a knockout well earned, I should say. So that's really all I have to say for now, and uh, I gotta get ready for another match that I have in about an hour or so. So maybe I'll re react to one more uh, Schmoda match, but uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, I have another match coming up soon, and I gotta get my, my, my brain cells uh, ready for that. So see you then. Hello again, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.